Hey, Alex. Oh, hey. Notice anything new? Is this a quiz? <laughs> no, the jacket. What oh. do you think about the jacket? Let's see. It clashes with your glasses. In fact, it clashes with everything. And it looks a little old. Okay, old, but how old? Mm, late 90s. Older? Early 90s, before the internet? Try older. Before the internet, so you mean ancient. <laughs> You're actually getting close. Parts of this jacket are one to three billion years old. What? So when you graduated? <laughs> no, like old, old. The secret is right here in these tiny beads of algae. Billions of years ago, blue-green algae evolved primitive chloroplasts and began photosynthesizing. Do you even remember photosynthesis? Yes, I do. Photosynthesis is a process that takes in carbon dioxide, water, and light and emits oxygen and glucose, which is a form of stored energy. Well done. Now, when most of us learned about photosynthesis, we heard about leaves and trees. Like this? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> but algae were the original photosynthesizers, generated and using glucose to grow and multiply. So that's very interesting and all, but what does that have to do with this lovely jacket? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. You see, when the algae died, they sank to the ocean floor and were buried by many layers of sediment over time. The geological pressure caused the carbon stored by photosynthesis to become the hydrocarbon molecules that make up petroleum. Wait a minute. Are we talking about the same petroleum that we used to make gas for our cars? That's the stuff. But we also use it to make nylon and synthetic clothing. You're probably wearing some too. Uh, no. You're the one walking around wearing ancient algae. First of all, this is organic. Second, I don't drive, so why do I care about algae? Do you like to breathe? Sure. Well, where do you think all this oxygen came from? Algae. Algae. Wait, really? Really. Billions of years ago, all that oxygen the algae produced by, say it with me, photosynthesis, photosynthesis. was enough to increase the percentage of oxygen in the atmosphere. This set the stage for another great energy transforming process. Do you know what that is? Yoga. <laughs> Try again. Napping? No. All right, respiration. Actually, cellular respiration, essential to all life on Earth. So what's the difference? Take a breath. That's respiration, where oxygen is distributed throughout your body. Hmm. Cellular respiration takes place within the cells of your body using the oxygen you breathe in, and that is happening in every living cell on Earth, including plant cells. All right. Cellular respiration starts with glucose and oxygen and results in ATP, the universal energy molecule for cells. Along with ATP, the process also produces carbon dioxide and water. Wait, didn't you just say that's what photosynthesis uses? That's right. Take those outputs from cellular respiration, hmm. add light, and voila, the ingredients for photosynthesis. Okay, so photosynthesis takes light energy and stores it as glucose. And cellular respiration is using that energy? Mm-hmm, keep going. So you're saying that photosynthesis happens in plants, and cellular respiration happens in animals. And? And plants? All right, so plants are doing photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So don't they just use up the glucose and oxygen that they make? That's a great question. Plants don't use all the oxygen they make. They release lots into the atmosphere, and animals and humans breathe it in. That sounds like tug of war. Exactly. <laughs> Photosynthesis and cellular respiration help maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the world. So what happens if something shifts that balance? Another great question. What would happen if the balance shifted? What could cause this balance to shift? And how would we measure those shifts? I don't know. That's where our little algae friend comes in. It's quite an organism. It's the reason I have this jacket, and it's the reason for half the oxygen we breathe every day. So say what you will about my look, but algae will always be styling. And one day, this jacket will be back in style. Don't hold your breath. While Alex is holding his breath, let me tell you how to get the algae beads he showed you. BioRed's new photosynthesis and cellular respiration kit includes pre-made algae beads and everything you need for your students to explore photosynthesis and cellular respiration in a single color change experiment. Visit our website for more information on how this kit works.